Now at launch pad 39B at the Kennedy Space Center, the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built. The Artemis rocket, named after the Greek god's twin sister of Apollo, preparing for NASA's first human mission to the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. We're going to Mars and we're going back to the moon in order to learn to live, to work, to survive. How do you keep humans alive in those hostile conditions? But first, this critical test flight set for August 29th. The Artemis rocket will carry the Orion crew capsule, speeding at 17,000 miles per hour to a 42-day mission to orbit the moon. If the test flight goes well, humans could be on a lunar orbit flight within two years. Then a moon landing in 2025 or 26. And a lot has changed in the 50 years since humans were last there. It may look just like the old Apollo space capsule, but Orion is bigger. Instead of carrying three astronauts, Orion carries four. With a big upgrade, there's room for a toilet. That matters when you're spending days in cramped quarters. Eventually, Orion will dock with a new space station that will orbit the moon. Astronauts will then descend to the lunar surface in a newly designed lunar lander. We're going to send a diverse crew. We're going to have the first woman and the first person of color, and we're going to have international astronauts, so a much more diverse population, reflective of how we are today. And virtually every astronaut is hoping they're chosen to go. Captain Victor Glover spent 168 days on the space station. I wanted to walk on and work on the surface of the moon. All astronauts should want to do the mission. And, uh, and, and now that going to the moon is a, becoming a part of the mission set, I think we're all really excited that that's a reality. Eventually, just like Apollo, Orion will parachute back to Earth, landing off San Diego in the Pacific Ocean. Again, no astronauts involved in this test flight, but NASA is putting four female and male dummies loaded with sensors on board to monitor the flight's impact and effects on the human body for future astronauts. By the way, Orion's orbit will be as close as 60 miles above the moon, then 280,000 miles away from Earth. That's the furthest any human spacecraft has traveled, guys. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, Tom, when humans do wind up going back to the moon, you, you said they're going to head to one of the coldest spots on the moon. Why would they do that? Yeah, so NASA is targeting a landing zone on the moon's south pole because they believe there's water ice there. Ooh. And that can be used to power future missions to Mars and help sustain a moon colony. So water, a key ingredient to what they're targeting as they go back. All right, Tom Costello. Tom, thank you.